Welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. Skagley Bones back with another video for you today and today I got a package, a couple packages actually. As you can see, I've kind of sort of already opened them. But we're going to take a look at what I got today. Now, I was hoping to already have my main package, which is a is a bike work stand. So I ordered a bike work stand. I don't order, in fact, ordered a number of things through Amazon. And of course, all everything decided it was gonna come in its own separate packages. So the things that I ordered, first of all, kind of give you guys an idea. And I'll put the link in the description below just so you know where to get everything uh, that we're going to review, review review here and talk about. So I will put a link in this video for all the stuff that I ordered through Amazon. Uh, of course, in the next video, uh, hopefully we will do an unboxing of everything else. So this time, what I ordered is I got some bolts for the stem and headset. I wanted to get some uh, new titanium bolts. I ordered a set of two bolts for uh, the jockey wheels on the rear derailleur. I ordered a set of aluminum with bearing uh, rear uh, jockey wheels for the rear uh, mech. And I ordered them in red because my bike is gray, red, black, and white. And so the red, I wanted, I've been putting a little bit of red, extra red on the bike. And I wanted some red highlights, so I figured the jockey wheels would look really cool since I can get them in all kinds of colors. And being they're aluminum and, and not the standard Teflon or plastic jockey wheels, of course these have the bearings, and, and you'll see those when I get them in. And then I got, uh, of course, um, I got, and you'll see that here, I got a dummy hub, and then of course later on we'll talk about, I'm going to I hope to do a do-it-yourself on how to make your own dummy hub. But I did get a dummy hub because I, I wanted one of the park tool ones. I did get an alignment tool for the rear mech or rear mech hanger. So I did get one of those because I needed one uh, for my uh, for my workshop. And of course, I also got the um, the work stand. I believe that's pretty much it. So, like I said, got a package today. Uh, picked it up at the post office. The other stuff hadn't come, which is kind of funny because supposedly the bike. Uh, the bike stand was supposed to be here first, but we'll see. I hope maybe it'll be here this evening or whatever, and I can pick that up this evening. Do we'll a video on, it. upload that one. So, without further ado, let's get into this. So, first small one we have here, and like I said, I kind of already opened them because I wanted to, to make sure that everything was there. Or actually, well, and I didn't know what was coming in on on these. So, as you can see here, I'll give you the the um, show you a close up of who I got it from. Uh, so as you can see, I got this one from China. And you'll see in the description below. So here is the titanium bolt set. So pretty simple, nothing super fancy. Um, let's see. Let's, I don't know if there's any other information there. Yep, the company I think is called Wang, Wayne. But Shanghai, China, is where it came from. A lot of aftermarket parts are from China now for bicycles, and they make a lot of hardware. So, like I said, uh, now the same company I didn't get the you're like, well, if you ordered titanium jockey wheel bolts, why didn't they come as well at the same time? Well, not from the same company. So, this is what I got, and I I looked under the same company to see if they had titanium jockey bolts, but they didn't. Okay, so what this is is a complete headset, or I shouldn't say headset. It's a complete. Uh, it's a complete for your um, sorry brain brain freeze here uh, so it's a complete set uh, for the stem so what you're gonna have is you're gonna have a stem uh, mounting bolt for the top cap so that's a top cap bolt and that's made out of titanium and that's a standard bolt for top cap and then you have here, you're gonna have six bolts. Now I could have bought individual sets of two bolts, but then I would add to buy one, two, I would have to order three packages. And I don't wanna order three packages, so I just got it as a kit. So what you have with your stem is you have the four front bolts for the most part, which is there, and the two bolts that mount the stem onto the fork. So that's all six bolts 
uh, in titanium. Now, with the titanium bolts, you're going to have to be very careful with your torques. So you're going to have to make sure 100% that you use the torque spec, which is 5 newton meters, for your headset. And then here quickly, as part of this video, I'll show you, uh, or sorry, in the next video, I'll show you, uh, I'll do a quick installation. And I should upload that today as well. So we're going to do a, pretty much in the same day, I'm going to do this video to show you these. And then I'll, uh, I'll show you the installation, kind of a do-it-yourself on that. So I'm going to put these back. Only other thing you get with these bolts, kind of make sure I'm zoomed out here. Get these back in the bag and I won't lose them. I know they're not tiny bolts. The nice thing is with the titanium bolts is they won't rust. And being here in Guam, it's, it's very damp, and so uh, bolts tend to rust a little bit. Even if they're stainless steel, they get a little bit of rust and corrosion. The stock bolts weren't uh, that fancy that came with it. Then you also get this little thing here. You don't get any directions with these, obviously. They're just bolts. But you're going to get this little piece of paper uh, that says, you know, thank you for your purchase. We strive to provide the best uh, services. We would appreciate if you would leave a five-star positive feedback. Looking forward to doing business with you again. So as soon as I get these installed, uh, obviously they're, they're bolts, you know. So as soon as I get them installed, I'm gonna I'll, I'll give a, a a rating. I always leave ratings on uh, uh, Amazon. So if you see anything that I've heard, I've I've probably have a rating on there on Amazon and give some information about the product. And they give you a little Chinese coin there. Kind of interesting. So next product we got today. And once again, already opened it. I, I figured what it was, but I wanted to double check. So, uh, and on this guy, I'll show you the address here. This guy came from Las Vegas, from Yosemite Bicycles and Outdoors. So a lot of the bike shops now they are selling stuff online. It's, and a lot of them through Amazon. So what you get here is you get your dummy hub. There's the price, by the way, just so you see. I got a discount off of that uh, just because of all the stuff I ordered. And then, uh, and then this, and this, by the way, is a park tool one. So this is an official dummy hub. This is some, isn't some cheapy. So this is uh, the Park Tool DH1 dummy hub. You have, it shows you method A and method B. Now I'll show you something interesting. If you have a skewer, an older skewer for the back end of your bike, you can use that along with part of this dummy hub and you can actually use it to, to go across the whole thing there and use it on the whole back end. Okay, but we're not going to do that. We're going to just use the method A. So you got your Park Tool DH1 dummy hub right there. It comes in this little spool. It's just some cardboard plastic tops, but the nice thing is I'll keep it in here. I got a little tube to keep my dummy hub in. So that's nice. Just pop the top, and there you go. Now, dummy hub's not that, that complicated. But how this works, and I'll kind of do this in the video, I'll kind of show you uh, how this works is you take off the rear wheel, and you take this portion here, and you just kind of loosen this up. You put that where the the skewer be and then you just kind of lock this in okay and it's going to lock in place there okay and you kind of you can screw this down all the way as tight as you need to it's going to uh, the dropout is going to catch right in there you're going to lock this in place and then the chain will actually go over this portion here and what this does it allows it to as you shift, this will go back and forth like this. And of course, this will freewheel and it won't damage the chain and it, it'll keep the chain off the frame and allows you to clean or work on your bike without the chain, or without taking the chain off, without allowing the chain to slap around and you can clean your whole mechanism, okay? Now, one of the nice things about this, and as you can see there, they have B method. So what you would do is you'd actually take off this small skewer here and you take your standard skewer that you would have and you would attach it facing uh, what are blah, blah, blah. Yeah. 
well, you would you put the whole skewer in and you would attach it that way. So just put it on like that, and you could attach it to across the whole back if you if you wanted a whole entire skewer on there. So the nice thing is with this, you have the entire thing, but you get a park tool skewer. It's made just for that, and there you go. So that's it for me for this video. Just kind of wanted to show you guys that, um, and uh, in the next video. We will, well, once I get the stand, I'll show you this, how to use your dummy hub, and we'll maybe make a video for how making a, your own dummy hub, because now this is a pretty heavy plastic, but you could get some inexpensive uh, plastic spools, probably a, a, a thing, and I have some extra hubs. Fortunately, this is a heavier duty hub than would be standard hub, so it, it's, it's a pretty nice uh, piece of equipment. So, well worth the money. Go ahead and get yourself one if you want to be able to clean your bike. So, uh, this is it for me, folks. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button below. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.